Hey everybody, Johnny Kane here inside the Pistons Team Hotel in Milwaukee. We're getting set for game one of the playoffs a little bit later tonight. Here's my partner, Greg Kelso, still reading the morning paper. What are you reading about here, Greg? Look at this. This is unbelievable. Every advantage, offense, defense, coaching, starters, bench, every advantage being given to the Bucks, and they're predicting a four-game sweep. Can't no, trust these. No respect whatsoever. Can't trust these writers around here. I don't T get it. T tell me why that prediction doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up because everybody's starting fresh, and the Pistons are zero and zero, and so are the Bucks. I like the fact that the Pistons are coming in, having won their last two. Played a really good second half against Memphis, and played a good four quarters against New York to get here. And now, certainly have nothing to lose. But I don't know how you give every single advantage to the Bucks, especially the coaching one. We've got a pretty good coach in Dwayne Casey, right? Well, that's what we found out a little bit earlier today, that uh, Dwayne Casey is the first coach in NBA history to come off the Coach of the Year honors and then lead another team into the postseason in the subsequent years. So Casey's got this team back, ready to go. We know we're going up against, you know, the toughest team in the right. Eastern Conference record-wise. But like you said, man, if the playoffs have taught us anything to this point, it's that everybody's got a shot. Hey, listen, we saw three teams go on the road yesterday and win. The Nets won, the Orlando Magic won, and, of course, San Antonio won in Denver. So mm -hmm. anything is possible. I think it's important that the Pistons get off to a good start. Obviously, the building's going to be on fire. Very electric when this thing starts. But sport quarters, they've got to weather that in the beginning, settle down. And, and, and here's the thing, too. I, I like the fact that the, the period of time that I mentioned, the last six quarters, they got it done without Blake. Now, mm -hmm. we, we hope that Blake is able to play in this series and be effective, but I think they did prove something to themselves that if he's not yeah, available and them. if he's not at, at, uh, at 100%, that they can still get some things done. Yeah, they do have a formula in place. All right, game one, I know you're looking forward to it. I am. As am I. <laughs> Don't forget, tune in Pistons Live. Our coverage begins at 6.30 Eastern. We'll see you then.